Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today our lovely box is flying all the way to Northern Ireland to meet uh, Mark Boy. Let's see what Mark has to say. Enjoy the interview. Mark, you okay? I'm yes. good, yes. It's good to see you. How are you? Yes. Good. You good. Oh, well. Welcome to William and the Magic Box. Right. Oh. Right. Ready for the first question? Yes, bring it on. Let's do it. Who are you most thankful for and why? My mum and dad, I would say, would be the most strongest people in my life. Okay. Um, and I'm thankful for them standing by me because they're, they're always there no matter what. So that's a very serious answer, isn't it? <laughs> Ready for a second one? Yeah. Yes, bring it on. Do it. Right, let's go. What's your favorite holiday season of the year? Oh, autumn. You know what? It's my favorite um, as, uh, season no. as well. And why? Why is your what is your favorite season? Uh, it's it's the smells, it's the colors of everything, it's the, the just the browns and just it's just there's just something. I think it's the change of food and it's the being indoors more and just right, yeah. you know, there's just something so cozy and ready for another one yes let's do it Bring it on right let's go okay mark if you could be in somebody's skin for 24 hours who that would be and why so, you know or like sure or britney spears one of those sort of my like iconic stars i love britney spears um, i love britney spears yeah yeah britney spears yeah just just to see what 24 hours would be like in their life you know to wake up and go oh i'm britney spears for 24 hours let's see what i can do today <laughs> I like to, <laughs> you yeah. know, to feel that vibe you know of like going on stage and absolutely you know yeah. and the adoration of crowds and yeah. So let's go for another one, right? Yeah, bring it on. Okay. Next one. Right, Mark. If if someone gives an envelope with your death date inside, would you open or not? I don't think I would. Okay, I why? I would no. I don't think I would open it because um, it's the sort of information that you're not really supposed to know, are you? Sure, absolutely. I agree with you. I think I'll you be leaving in my hands all the time with this thing. I wouldn't be relaxed anymore. No, you wouldn't. And it would always be playing in your head, I think. That's you, true. That's you, true. Would just, you just have to get all my life and enjoy life as it is, you know. And, absolutely. You know, and, and just, just enjoy life, you know. and, and let, let things happen the way they're supposed to. Absolutely. I don't, think it, I don't think it would make your life any better. Or... That's true. If you were to raise a child, what are the most important things you would um, want them to learn? Um, I think just respect for other people. Okay. Especially me being a gay man, uh, growing up, I think just uh, it's taught me a lot to just let people let people be as they are, and right. you know, and just and just treat. I think that that whole saying of treat other people the way you would want to be treated yourself is such a big, big thing. Absolutely. You know, I think if you hold those if you hold those sort of uh, qualities close to yourself. Um, and treat other people the way that you want to be treated yourself. I think is you will so You teach them straight away. Yeah, yeah, because instantly, you know, it's yeah. Mark, are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's good crack. Yeah. I'm actually more relaxed than I thought I was going to be. Oh, I thought I was going to be nervous about it, and I'm actually like, oh. no, actually, I'm alright. <laughs> yes, I thought about it. I'm sure you'll be relaxed. Let's do. Let's do another one. Let's. Yay! Yeah. If 
if your plane was going down, who would you call? Probably my mom, I think, would be the first person. The only one, yeah. I think, because <laughs> we don't have too much time. So yeah, why you call her? Just what you tell her? Uh, I always tell my mom that I love her every day. You know, oh. I speak to my mom probably about two or three times every day. Oh my God. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm very close to my mom. Very, very close. I love my dad as well, but I'm just like I'm a mommy's boy. Like, <laughs> let's go to the one more. Boom. Ooh. Ready for another one? Yes, bring it on. If you ha if you could have picked your own name. Which one would be? If you could have choose your own name. It's more. I, I like Mark. I like the name. Funny enough, when I was growing up, uh, sometimes I would get mistakenly called Gary, which is oh, really yeah. new. So yes, good one. Let's go for another one. Let's go. Yeah. Next one. When was the last time you cried and why? Oh my God, I cry all the time. <laughs> you know, done this time I Do you know what I actually cried recently over? There's a program on BBC One called uh, Ambulance. Right. And it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a real, like a, a real life thing. Um, and it's just ambulance workers, basically just in Liverpool and Merseyside, just, uh -huh. to, just going out and, oh my God, there was just this wee old woman and she was, she was nearly, she was, I think about three months off her hundredth birthday, and um, she had got a chest infection, and she was right. such a sweet. And her husband had died, and oh, she had oh. missed him for like ten years. And I was screeching. Oh. I was literally crying. I felt I just wanted to give her a hug. She was just, she was so lovely. And I was like, oh no, stop that! Turn that off. <laughs> oh no, that's cute. Oh. Oh, real things like that. I would try. But I, I love. I mean, I would cry over. I cry over everything. I've got <laughs> two questions left for you, right? Oh, I'm just oh, getting them. Let's do it. Next one. If you met someone sad in the streets, would you be um, what would be your advice to this person? I think I would just say, do you want to talk? You know, that's okay. Oh, that's Everything's good. Everything's okay. Yeah. That's good. That's a good approach. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well. Just to show somebody that you're there, you know, and that even though you don't know them, sometimes sometimes that's better. You know, that's... I think sometimes you can open up to somebody you don't know easier than you can with somebody you, don't, you do know. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for the last one? Oh, no. Yes, go ahead. Bring it on. Darn. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh my God, I love that you like that you're enjoying. That's very cute, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, really right. What What's the most beautiful thing somebody have done to you? Mm. Do you know, do you know what's? I'm just sort of thinking recently. I was with my partner for 13 years, and we broke up, and we just we hadn't spoke for four years, and we ended up with just. He just reached out to me there just recently, just with the whole lot. Just rekindled our friendship again, and I, th I think that that was a beautiful thing. Um, very beautiful, very very beautiful. Yeah, and just just to have that connection again with somebody that I was so close to, because he's my best friend. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just yeah, because we were like I say, we spent like yeah. the whole of coming out experience of, of the whole gay thing, you know, we both went through a big, big chunk of our lives together. And then when we broke up, we just didn't speak for like four years. And and then just, it was really, I mean, I sort of put it in the back burner, you know, the way you do, you just it's get It's a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? Is. Was, yeah, and we, we spend, yeah, we spend every Sunday together. We talk every day now. And, Oh, I mean, God. I know we're never ever, I mean, we both know, like, it's, you know, we've moved That's on with the life. But it's great to have that friends, friends. Oh, you see, I like this. I love <laughs> Absolutely. Right, it's not the end of the show yet. Yeah, okay, I still have a little game to tell, to, to go through with you, okay? Yeah, so, okay. I'm going to tell, tell you a word, and you just tell me whatever comes to your mind, okay? 
Okay. Okay, let's start. Love. Connection. Right? Money. Sadness. <laughs> Money isn't bad. Family. Uh, strength. Okay. Life. Right. Being happy. Right. Sex. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> a fear. <laughs> Loneliness, I think, yeah. Okay. A regret, if you have time. Time is a healer, I think, yeah. Sometimes you just, when you've regrets in life, you just sometimes move on from it. Sure. <laughs> a wish. Yeah, strive towards it. Amazing, amazing. If you could describe yourself in a positive word, in a negative word, which one would be? Just one word. Positive word. Uh, a positive word would be uh, kind. Okay. In a negative word? Negative word. Stubborn. <laughs> right. Good one. Mark, I'm really, really enjoying it. Now let's exchange roles, okay? Now you ask me a question and let's, let's do the, the, the mark and the magic box. Were a film is being made about your life. Say again, okay. sorry? Say so again. Film, a film, a blockbuster film is being oh. made about your life. Okay. okay. So who would you have play you as the star in role? And okay. Why? Right. Um, right now, I think um, as, a, as somebody well known, or could be anybody else? Could be anybody. Okay. I'll say myself. <laughs> because I think um, I've been through a lot, you know what I mean, about my past and the, 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 the future right now, the, the moment right now, and the future as well. So I think I'd like to play myself, I'd like to be able to have the opportunity to, you know what I mean, to make a movie about myself and be able to play at the period where I am right now. Of course, you know yeah. what I mean, not the past, but I'd like to play the period where I am right now, so I think I, I, I would... Um, I would kind of try to pass the right message to the public and uh, yeah, to kind yeah. of, I mean, so they can they could see the real William at that moment where I was playing at the, of my life. Brilliant, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think yeah, that's I a, that's a, yeah, I think, that's, yeah, yeah, that's a brilliant answer. <laughs> Mark, just before we go, I don't want to go right now, but it's it's we need to go and uh, just tell me a phrase or a quote that you like that inspire you. Uh, or you uh, was, uh, I, I like. I just I was thinking about this earlier on, and I thought, um, let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. Oh, wow, that's powerful. Wow, that was quite lovely. That's powerful. So and that's just. Staying positive and staying true to yourself. Uh -huh. Good. Like, thank you very much. Thank you so much for sharing yeah. that with us. Mark, it's been a pleasure. It has been great. Did you enjoy? Yes, it was great. Yeah, good. All right. so, thank you so much. All right. Thank you yes. Much. All and my love from Belfast. Yeah. Bye bye. bye. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, First, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.